uh, call the meeting to order. I make a motion to call the meeting to order. I second that. Say. All in favor. Six, six. o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm typing in as we're going. Okay, um, so just working down the agenda and bear with me on this because I've got, we, we only have a few items, but I've got like 20 things <laughs> to go over and under each item. Um, kind of start off with, with current programs. So right now we're three weeks in, I guess, to the youth soccer season. Um, we have 92 kids registered right now, a bunch of kids in that, uh, the, the six U group. Um, we probably have 35, I think 35 kids or so just in that six U group. Um, they're having a blast. Kids doing a good job. Um, like I said, we got we got going a couple. Of, uh, we're going into the third weekend. Uh, Saturday we've got teams going kind of all day. I mean, we got games from from nine a.m. I think till about one. Um, so they, they, they've got a bunch going. We've got the two eight two eight U groups and eleven U team and a nine U team. Um, the two eights are doing the Frontier League, and that seems to be going well. And the the two other teams are doing the the Roots League. So. We've got them all set with the rosters and, and all that stuff. So, so they're good to go. Um, we are, we are doing those soccer clinics on Wednesdays. We've gotten really good feedback from a lot of parents on that. Um, it's free. <laughs> so we've got about 45 kids registered and really most of them show up. Um, you know, a lot of time when you're in those free programs, people register and don't go, but we, I mean, we've had 30 plus kids to every one of those. And it's, it's like I said, the feedback's been good. I, I think it's been a, a, a good program to run. Um, something we probably need to keep doing. Um, I'd like to get coaches more involved, maybe at the beginning of the year, um, kind of next year plan ahead and, and have maybe that Western United do some coaches clinics um, or some things like that for our younger guys. But like I said, I think those, those clinics have gone really well. Um, I've gone to all of them. It's actually going tonight, just first one I missed. <laughs> but um, nice. it's going well. Um, the cheerleading started last week. Uh, we've got 18 kids, uh, 18 girls registered in the, for cheerleading. They'll just be going a couple times a month up until basketball gets started. Uh, they may increase. So it's kind of happening here and there. They're working out at the school. They're practicing like a, like right when they get out of the school, they're going to share the gym for about an hour. Like I said, just it's twice a, twice a month up, up to the beginning of the year. But, but that program is getting started. I think that'll be good. Um, we did get the, I, I found a guy through Chris, had a guy that does all his fields and everything. Um, so I got a guy named Adam uh, to come up and, and, and paint all our fields. So we've got the two um, U6 fields right by that hill, kind of like we'd started off doing. And then we did the U11 field in white and then the U9 um, field in sided in orange. And it actually works out really well. So it looks it looks pretty good. Um, that paint with the, with the rain and with the, the mowing and everything, I'm having a paint a little more than once a week. I'm about a day or two ahead of once a week. So it'll be, you know, seven, eight times kind of between this and the end of the season. Um, it's not a big deal. I, I can go over it in about an hour and get them all done. Um, the rub is, um, there's a chemical in the plant paint that they, it's hard, I guess the challenge to get. <laughs> so paint's about hundred bucks a case now <laughs> for field paint, but it's what we got. Um, we had some left over from last year. I bought a bunch of orange. I just made another um, order from Home Depot on it. Um, the stuff from Epic, they can't get until December. So I'm, I'm working through through Home Depot to get our, our stuff right now. But <laughs> are, you, are you okay, like handling it? I, I have to say that I partially dropped the ball. Andy Kopacki got back to me and got back to me fast. Um, and he was telling me, you know, like that he thought the brothers, you know, were kind of done and that, but he had other people that he thought might be interested. So I don't, no, I, I figured when I didn't get back to him that he might have gotten in touch with Steve or someone else, but I don't know if he did. But are I mean, you okay? I, I, yeah, yeah, we're good. Um, we found a guy. We had to pay him, obviously, but I think he did a great job, and I think it's someone we can use down the road. Yeah, um, and Andy said you would have to pay yeah. the guys that he had, too, he figured. So I guess it's good you have someone you can rely on. 
Yeah. And it, it's a thing. I mean, it's not just easy as, I mean, obviously you guys know, <laughs> it's not just like you can go out and draw by a big square right. and, and they get to play. So like I said, those guys did a good job and, and yeah, we had to pay him, but also I, I think it was well worth it. Um, he even, they even came out and redid the fields before we got started just to make sure they were all good. So, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with, with, with what we're getting from those guys. Um, that's kind of the, the current stuff we have going on. You guys have any uh, questions or anything on that? Um, the only thing I had is uh, where can I get a schedule for that Frontier one? I'd like to view some of those if I can on the weekend, Saturday maybe. You know what? I will. Um, I took pictures of the schedule. I will cool. send you guys the schedules on, on cool. the phone when you get done. Cool. No problem. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's been good. Man. It's been good. Uh, all right, upcoming. Um, I got a lot of stuff going on for upcoming. Bear with me. So, just today, uh, we talked last time about doing like kind of play dates instead of those summer trips. Um, I made a little flyer, pretty basic thing, and I'm gonna I I, I uh, scheduled it to go out. I think on Thursday. Um, but we're going to start off just doing like a, a play date at the elementary school, you know, after at, at 10 o'clock after practice, just to kind of get it going and, and let people know we're going to be doing that. Um, maybe just do it once a month or so. But I thought, you know, we have 20 kids or so playing on the playground after every practice anyway. So I, like I said, I think that'd be a that'd be a good start. Um, but we got that post. We're starting that this weekend. Um Pickleball and men's and women's basketball. We have those still scheduled. I, I, I told you guys I've got all the facility requests and flyers and all that stuff done and, and taken care of way ahead of hand just to, to be sure we have everything. Um, it doesn't start till November, but, but we have everything, everything reserved and everything ready to go for that. Um, we did open the youth basketball registration, I don't know, a week or two weeks ago. Um, I've got, I posted something on it. Um, I had sent something out and then also I have a, another reminder schedule to go out that, that it is open right now. I know CYO, I'd seen that, um, I think Filio and, and Percy had posted something and got out to everyone that CYO is going to do a league. So I'm sure that will affect us, but at the same time, we'll do, we'll do well with whatever we have, you know, <laughs> we'll run our league and, and it'll be a kick butt league and we'll keep getting guys to do it. So we've got, we actually have six kids registered. Um, right now for basketball, so we are getting some registrations, but like I said, the stuff's out, and I'll, I'll keep pushing as we get closer to that to that date. What um, age group does CYO start? You know what? I don't even know. Okay, either do I. It, it's pretty young. Uh, I think they do – I think they got a U – yeah, U8, you know. I, think well, they so. do. I swear I had Christian at about third grade. Which is, is that about then? I don't know. Yeah, I think yeah. they go kind of the same parallel, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Well, and long-term, guys, I mean, it's just like, the way I'm looking at it is just like with the, with the T-ball, with the basketball. I think if we do a good job and we can, you know, the, our numbers for those U6 programs are getting bigger and bigger, you know? Um, every time we've done it, we've gotten more and more kids to, to come in and do those. So I think we'll get enough momentum from those youth programs that I, I think those other those other age groups are going to stick with with what we're doing. I think more and more uh, moving forward, because you know we'll, we'll, people are going to do you know they'll they'll play in the league they want to play in, but I think we, we can still provide a, a quality product. Um, it's kind of like we talked about with soccer. We don't want to we're not providing a select league for everyone. We want a good recreational experience, you know, for for our community. You guys want to do that. And I think we're, we'll keep providing that for, for all our sports. But you know, nice. with, the, with the numbers we're having for, the, for like I said, with, with, with basketball <laughs> last year and with, with our, with our T-ball and now with soccer, I mean, like I said, we got, four, you know, a lot of the younger kids registered. I think those programs are growing, grow. So I'm sure we'll lose some kids. You know, getting all those guys last year from the CYO league was nice. Um, but I think we'll, we'll, we'll start getting those guys more and more because, because we do, we are offering quality product. Um, so we're, we are doing we're still doing the parents yeah. night out um we have those still second thursday every month we're going to do a kind of like a special halloween one um, for october so i i again got some things posted 
I started on for our Facebook account, just scheduling stuff. <laughs> it's hard to stay on post and stuff consistently. So I've, I've got kind of stuff spread out and scheduled to, to promote that kind of through the course of the week. Um, so that's like the 13th or, or something like that. That second yeah. thing, but we'll be promoting that and hopefully we can get the, get the numbers up for that event. Um, uh, we're also doing that virtual costume contest like we did last year. So we're promoting that at the, at the parents night out, we'll do pictures, you know, I put it's 15 bucks or 10 if you wear your costume. So hopefully we can get some kids to, to wear the costumes and, and have a good environment for everyone. Uh, but we'll do pictures and, and enter those into the contest and people can go to that. Um, Are we going to do a rag shag and an event of the Legion? You tell me, is that something that we want to do? School isn't back in session. I think so. Because when is your event? Not the 29th. Are they still planning on doing trunk or treat? I saw yes. that too. And I think that was the 14th, <laughs> if I recall. I don't have my calendar in front of me with it. Greg, yeah. do you know? I mean, because I saw something that might the police station might have. No, they are doing it. We actually posted on our thing too. If you can, I can yeah, look that's... real quick. Bear with me. Let me look real quick. Yeah, I can't remember the date, but I mean, the rag shag has been. We really want to support the Legion. Um, they look forward to that event every year. I know Ta um, Frank Zabawa always starts asking us about it. Um, it's a good reason to get the town in there and the kids doing the parade. And given that they're back in school, I think we should start back up on it. So Friday, October 28th is the trunk of trait. Okay, so I, I really don't know what that is and what we need to do with planning. So I'll just need kind of some assistance in kind of putting together what that what that takes to to do that. What the, does that make oh, sense? It's yeah, it's probably gone on for about 10 years, maybe 15, because I think Kara's done it every year, like since she was probably five or younger. I know I did it back in the day. So we partner with the Legion, so I can get you the contact, but I would think it might be in a file that says rag shag. Um, the fire, yeah, I know, it could be an electronic file. I know Missy has copious files there and I don't know if they're in a electronic file or hard copy and I can ask her, okay. uh, but you know, we, the fire men and police meet them in the. On the computer. Jim? What? You were muted, Jim. Oh, I am? You were at the beginning. Oh. I couldn't hear you. I, I don't think I've ever seen on that computer a rag check file. Yeah. I'll have, I can ask her too, but I mean, obviously I don't mind sharing it, but also if you go out to the Facebook page and search rag shag, you know, all the past flyers will come up. But I can also pull them my, you know, by doing that myself. But um, the police, Lauren's in Florida of all places right now. But if you talk to Lauren, you know, she could help coordinate the fire station and police station. Um, and they have a legionnaire in the past that leads them from Hopkins along the sidewalk, crossing Route 9 into the Legion in their costumes. And then we usually have had the Girl Scouts in the past help run like little stations and events in there. Along the back wall, we'll have like donuts. Where do they come from, Steve? Are they Sugar Shack or um, flavors? Yeah, yeah, Sugar Shack, yeah. And then they had, I think Jenny had a big bin, like a couple big bins of ice cream. And I thought that might've come from flavors or cooks. Yeah, I Treat think that was the last that time came, we were inside, yeah. Yeah, like treats that came from local, businesses as donations um and then the girls staffing the little area we've had a mad if you look at mad science we had a mad science guy do something like a performance for the kids we've had that guy um who's the silly guy with the balloons Poplarzik. yeah ed P papa Zarek or something yeah it's always a hit um, when he does a balloon and comedy show for the kids. We have farms that, I think it was Huckowitz Farm or somewhere that donates pumpkins and we give them out to the kids. Yep, I mean, Wally, 
Wally yeah. too didn't mind. Yeah. Yeah, Wally. Wally Sikowski, that's too. right. Wally. I mean, I don't know if we want to worry about those hay bales because that was a pain. Yeah. But, um, you know, I remember Andy had them in the bed of his truck and we helped him get them off. But I really hate to lose some of a lot of the stuff when we were fighting for our department to survive, Greg, was like about our traditional things that we do every year. And I think the the awesome, awesome things that you're coming up with are a beautiful enhancement to the program. But like our Easter bunny thing, the Santa thing and the Halloween thing are our big ones that we do for the town. And I don't, we have um, some people that are on the select board and we're being recorded. So I am not going to name names, but we have some people that were not as supportive of our department and we need to do these town functions that I think have been in existence. <coughs> Make them and do them as we wish. Like one year we had a girl scout going for her gold award and it was based on physical fitness. It was Jackie Pliska and she did a whole obstacle course on the left half. She took the whole left half of the, um, haunted house, haunted, whatever, and did a whole obstacle course with kids. And then the other half was like the cookies and the stuff and all that. But I really don't want to get, I mean, you, you guys can veto me, but I really don't want to get away from some of these things that we've worked so hard to get as, oh yeah, is that rag shop happening? Is that happening? You know, and being like, well, we're not doing that anymore. And I also don't want other departments to try and take over it and then feel that the park and rec department does not have its place. And I'm trying to think about my words as I say things. Okay, so that what does your wife think, Jim? <laughs> that was actually Sully calling oh, his Sully. mother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, Diane, if that thing goes off on the 29th with the um, police department and that, were you thinking of something like on the Saturday, the 30th? We traditionally, I think we did it on like Sunday afternoon into Sunday night. Well, it is Sunday. The th Sunday is the 30th. Of Friday. Okay. Am I looking at the calendar wrong? I think if they did it on Friday night, if we did it on Sunday, like, because isn't trick-or-treating, like our town doesn't do it off calendar, right? Like they'll do it on the 21st. Like kids will trick-or-treat mm -hmm. on Monday. Right. I don't know. I mean, I'm, you know, that's my one opinion. I, I welcome your opinions. I mean, I feel like other departments are trying to take over some things that we historically do. And during COVID, I don't, and, and honestly, like without Greg, you know, when we were just trying to get by, you know, I think that that's fine, but. Right. We did scale back. Yep. We scale back a lot lately. A lot. And I feel like we're losing this stuff and the, and the visibility, like. Greg has visibility at the games, you know, when we're there, but like when we have events, that's really good visibility for him to, you know, get up on stage and talk and let people put a face with a name. Again, you know, if you have ideas, I welcome it. I'm, you know, we're all here to state our opinions and stuff. Okay. I mean, I am concerned that, you know, if the town's doing something on Friday, you know, and doing another thing on Sunday, I don't, I mean, they are two different things, but is how. the construction down as far as the uh, Legion? Not right now. I hit it um, bringing Christian to golf on Route 9. I hit it um, before, like, where that tap room used to be. I don't know, like, near Barstow, uh, the, the Siaglo farm there. No, but, <clears throat> so I know that, what's his name? Uh, Costic. John Costic's house is all dug up in front of his house. Oh, oh no, it's not dug up in front of the Legion. Okay. No, no, no. Right. I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, no, that's more on the corner of East Street. All right, because I just didn't know if I wanted to make sure that the sidewalk was going to be available if we're even going to try that. Yeah. Um, that's something Greg could check with Lauren when she's back or the police station. Okay. Um, so, I mean, so basically what needs to be done is you need to get a police cruiser there for 15 minutes to get all the kids across the street. Then they walk down because you're not closing Route 9, right? I, I've never been involved with it. Nope. We don't close Route okay. 9. The cop will, the cop will 
kitty corner, you know, he'll go across the intersection. They'll walk across, hopefully led by some legionnaires. Okay. As a matter of fact, from all of my father's like obituary stuff was actually from the rag shag that Barbara Pliska, who was a leader at that time in Girl Scouts took. Okay, you know? so then you so, get donuts and pumpkins and cookies and drinks and all that Scouts, stuff. And Girl then Scouts. decorate the legion. You get volunteers, hopefully through the Girl Scouts <laughs> Key Club or the other thing. And we would need to get in touch with them now because it's a month out. Yeah. You know? Okay. I mean, what are your thoughts, though, on doing it, Jim? I, I understand the, the reason why we want to do it. But on the on the flip side of that, and I'm not saying we shouldn't do it, I'm just saying that if it's a partnership between the fire department, the police department, and park and rec to do the trunk or treat, I think that's something that's similar. You know what I mean? It, is it, though, a partnership, or have they taken it over and we have a booth at it? I, I haven't been able to attend. Yeah. Last year for the, the trunk or treat, I mean... Lauren did the, almost. She did everything basically. You know, right. I went That's over. That's what I'm saying. I helped her. You know, stuff bags and you know just do stuff around the, you know, to get it set up and some things like that. And then we had the car there, but. Um, Sounds like uh, that's what I'm fearing yeah. is that For, our trunk or treat was mostly them. Yeah, I'm feeling we're fearing we're losing control of stuff. What Christian? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then maybe we should. If Greg, if you can talk to some people, Greg, in the next by Friday, and say, "Hey, listen, so call uh, uh, the Legion, call a couple of people, and say, hey, can you get us this stuff? You know, would you be willing to donate? You know, X amount of donuts, and would you be willing to de donate X amount of?" Uh, this and then like the, how much how much are we going to need i mean what am i asking for i've never been to it before so i have no idea it, it hasn't happened since i've been here on the board okay how many people usually I partake i i'd have to find a folder i mean i have i am not the person that has numbers or stuff like i'm going through the pictures now from all the all the years you know, that we've had it now from our, our uh, Facebook page. Um, and I feel like we fill the Legion like up top, you know, like I we've, we've filled it with kids. So I, I can, again, Missy ran it one year. So I feel fine asking her. I really don't want to go back to Jenny. Um, you know, cause she has, we haven't really reached out for too much. I don't mind doing that, but you know, we can, but I think that if I talk to Missy, she'll have some type of idea of numbers. I hate to say I can't talk to my father. Like I know when, if it rains, it's a bust, you know, because the big thrill of it for them is walking, you know, in their parade and their, um, whatever you want to call it, costumes down route nine, you know, and one year it was raining and it was, you know, we've called it on the years that it's bad weather that is. Yeah. But we've got speakers now, so we could set it up and they could, you know, play some monster mash music and stuff like that. And they can dance around and, you know, have fun inside. So it's not a waste of everything that, you know, Greg has to do. So, I mean, the biggest thing I'll probably need help with is volunteers, um, getting people to help. So I'll, I can reach out and I'll work on it. Um, I, I've, the times I reach out to the representatives, to you know, key club, or whatever, I'm not getting responses. Um, guys, I, 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 I send stuff out at the beginning of the year for even for the February and April, trying to get a get a jump on it, and for also asking about you know the December thing and the Easter thing, and I haven't gotten any response. Um, I'll keep doing that, but if if you guys have any 
know anyone that does those programs. I'd appreciate it. I, I do. <laughs> I mean, like in that email I put to you, I know all of them. I know Denise, okay. I know Ruth Ann Fitzgibbons, and I know no one emails me back. You know, what right. I mean? you, you need, so you need to reach out to us, you know, the commissioners and specifically, I have no problem like harassing them and telling them like Christian has showed me emails that the the group sent for the Christmas one or the last one that we needed people for, I guess it might've been Easter and you did get an okay amount, but um, yeah. If you just okay. tell me, okay, sent out the email, then the, like the next day or two after, then maybe I can reach out to them and be like, Hey, what's going on? You know? Okay. Okay. I'd be happy to, to poke and prod. I mean, you know, there's kids that need hours, you know, I so know. I'm like, where are they getting their hours? Otherwise, I know they just did the Alzheimer's walk, but, you know. Yeah. Well, I'd like to say that I'd be able to help you do a bunch of stuff, but I can't right now with all the other stuff at work and with football three nights next week and then both Saturday and Sunday, Saturday and Sunday this week. I'm going to a wedding Friday night in new hampshire it's i i don't have a lot of time to help so i don't know i mean I'm, I'm happy to reach out to those those volunteer people after his i think it should come from greg you know like as the director yeah. like you know hey we need people and then when he doesn't get anyone or if no one's responding then you know that's okay. when i okay. follow up with them like i mean i was texting with Lindsay that last time and she was saying i think she missed some emails or something because you know, Greg was sending her stuff and she wasn't seeing it, you know, so I don't know if stuff was getting spammed or what, but okay. so. Okay. I'll send stuff out and then I'll let you know. Um, I texted <laughs> you guys like all the flyers. So also yeah. another way, like if you go to a file, the little folder file on the laptop and search rag shag, you know, you might find some of those pre-existing ones. Yeah, there's nothing on this computer that says that. <laughs> there might be a paper folder in one of those filing cabinets. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing in the computer. Okay, but I can make some calls. I'll figure it out. So we'll plan on doing that. Um, we'll plan on doing that. I'll get the um, information. I'll, I'll get stuff put together for it. I mean, it's not a bad idea to do it just before they go trick-or-treating, you know? So do it that 30th, that Sunday. They can walk from Hopkins over and, um, you know, once it's dark, they can then go back and go trick-or-treating. Yeah. So that way it's not three days in a row of stuff. Huh. You know, Friday night at the police department, and then Saturday with us and then Sunday trick or treating, you know, so. Okay. Just an idea. Okay. All right. So we get on that. Um, the rec shed. Cool. Okay. So we'll work on that then and I'll get back to you about uh, where we are with the volunteers. Okay. Um, so I, I did send out a, a mailer, uh, actually it's scheduled for delivery, <laughs> but with all the October events so that I'll be going out. Um, I don't want to overwhelm and do too much. We've got, I almost think 692 in our mailing list right now that stuff's going out too that hasn't been like blocked or not blocked, but um, unsubscribed. So it's going out, but I'm trying to not, you know, hit that list too much with stuff. We just sent out the, the last um, Park and Rec bulletin a couple of weeks ago. So we've got stuff for our October going out soon. Um, Berkshire East sent me their stuff about the ski program. Um, I want to make sure it was cool with you guys, but I was planning on doing six weeks instead of four weeks. Um, I had some people say they, they want to do the longer sessions. So I put together all the costs. I got the registration form done. Um, <laughs> I got everything ready to go um, on that. I just need to confirm with them with the dates I was looking at and, um, nice. We'll get that posted soon. So we've got that all put together. Um, Amherst College uh, basketball asked about doing a camp for us in the middle of October. Um, I put in a request for the facilities and haven't heard back from that on yet. Uh, 
But so if that gets approved, we'll do that. Um, they'd said Saturday or Sunday morning, but I mean, all through October, all our guys have soccer that Saturday morning. So I, I put in for Sunday, but also I don't know if we're going to be able to get custodians on a, on a Sunday. So if that doesn't work out, I'll see if they can reschedule it for, for November because um, we'll be done with soccer and that's kind of in between. But they had requested that date, so we put that in, but I'll, I'll let you guys know. When does basketball start? Back. Um, I mean, they don't start playing until January. You know, yeah. they'll, they, their stuff doesn't get going until December, really. So I'm not in panic state either way. You know, if, if we can do it and we get some participation, cool, because Amherst wants to do that. If not, then yeah. I'll see if I can move that back and, and maybe even get them to come back, you know, once we get going, come back beginning in January and December, um, something like that, so we can do something. Um, be great. Um. I did want to bring up where the upcoming stuff and see what the um, level, what, where we were with the ice rink. We we're talking about leveling the, the ground for the ice rink. Yeah, we got to get in front of the uh, select board for that. Okay. I got I got something that'll do it for me. Um, we just have to get in front of them and then get some kind of grass that'll grow real quick. And... I, I don't know if we'll have enough. I don't know if we'll have enough time for that because it's already October. I know. I know. Um, let me see. Let, let me talk to him tomorrow, and I'll get back to you on that. Okay. Cool. Because cool. he can do it pretty much any time. So we just have to get in front of the select board. Right. And, and then. Also... Yep. Yeah, go ahead. No. Go ahead, man. No, I, I, I had I had a couple things, but they're different than this. So okay, <laughs> cool. Well, and that's about the going to select board. Um, we put together. I think everything's good with the proposal I put in. I, I did a. Uh, I think I sent you guys that stuff for the facility reservation when it goes through park and rec. Um, so I'll get that stuff to you, Jim. Um, also, so before, let me know before you meet with the select board. So okay. we can get that on the agenda and, and talk with them about that as well. Because so I think okay. if they'll approve that, then we can get started on that. Because right now I'm just doing it for free. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and part of the advantage of going through us is the insurance and, and all that stuff. So I think, you know, even if we get a couple people a year to do it, it's still something that benefits um, benefits our, our program. So yeah. our department. Um, uh, uh, trunk or so I know we talked about trunk or treat. Are, are you planning? Are you wanting to put a vehicle in that gym or am I going to do mine again? Um, what is that? The 30th? No, the 29th, yeah. Friday night. Let me get back to you tomorrow. Okay. There's no, honestly, dude, there's no rush. You know what I mean? I don't mind doing it. Um, I've got that, you know, I, I've got stuff I can use and everything, but also I know you did a, a pretty awesome thing. The, the year before so either way yeah. just let me know what you want to do <clears throat> okay i don't know if sully gets a vote or not but he's on board with doing a trunk or treat cool so all right you, uh you guys is there anything else you guys have on the upcoming programs any did you say trunk or treat? Yeah. I have to use your truck for the PTO one. Oh, uh, sorry. Wait, PTOs? Oh, okay. Never mind. My wife is using my truck for the PTO. Okay. She's on PTO now. So she's using my truck for that. So I will not be using my vehicle for that. Okay. Okay. We'll I'll, plan be there. I'll plan on doing it. That's cool. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, Next uh, agenda items, is, uh, just update you all on Zaturka Park. Um, ordered all the, the playground equipment from Billy Goat. They were way less expensive than anyone else. Um, also, they do the installation, so we ordered their installation. Um, once that goes through, the warrant goes through, um, they'll schedule the delivery, and that, that's a whole thing. But So it's in process. I'm not sure what the timeline is on that, but, but it's in process to get that stuff. Um, the picnic table and gazebo are over at DPW right now. Uh, we're waiting for the, the benches. Uh, once the benches gets in, uh, Home Depot will we'll get all the DPW, take the stuff all out to Zaturka, and we'll, we'll Home Depot will get that stuff installed. So 
Awesome. Um, I will do it on the DL, you know, when, when that, when it gets here, I'll make a big thing out of it because we're, we're getting that stuff in. So um, that stuff should be coming before November. I mean, we should be getting those benches in October. So it'll be good to at least get the benches and gazebo and everything up. And then, then we'll see about the play sets, but it's good. So are you fun. anticipating the play sets will be in in the spring? Um, I, I'm thinking most likely, you know, okay. for them to be able to deliver it and install it. I don't know if they're going to be want to do the installation, and everything in December. You know, yeah, no. I could be wrong, but also I'd almost rather, you know, they wait till it warms up so we can do a, like the a grand, grand opening. opening and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that'll be great. We, you know, we get those play dates set up that we can start doing some stuff out there and provide some, yep. provide when we do that, you know, provide waters and juice boxes and all that type of stuff. Yeah. Cool. Um, that's going to be such a big thing, Greg. That's yeah, huge. I, I really think that's that's a good job done for this town. Cool. Oh, shoot. I got to add something, too. <laughs> You're muted. Agreed. Sorry, I was taking some bites of food. <laughs> I think no it's awesome. I think it's awesome. Cool. Um, so that's all I have on um, on Zerkshirka. Um I do have some other other business that <laughs> wasn't anticipated 48 hours. I want to talk to you guys about. Um, I got the Berkshire, the design firm or the, the engineering firm that did the um, new safety complex is the one I contacted. They're putting together estimates for the softball field and plan for the softball field. Um, okay. I, I had to get estimates to Carolyn for the stuff she needs to submit. So I, I talked to I talked to one of the, the engineer that's doing the job, or at least that's kind of putting the stuff together for me about a week and a half ago. Um, and he gave me some kind of general numbers. So I put some stuff down and, and submitted that stuff to Carolyn today. I was kind of waiting to see if I could get something better, but um, I submitted all that stuff to her today. So it's kind of, I, she has a scope of work. Um, she has some estimates, so she has something to work with, but there, that, the, I think I want to say it's maybe Berkshire engineer. Yeah, it is. It's Berkshire out of Northampton. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, I, they're but guys here's the time. thing. They shouldn't even have to do that, Greg. There's already blueprints with that done. No, he has. He said he has a bunch of the stuff. It's just he needs to get to it to do it to get it to me. So he yeah. says he already has a lot of. Some of those oh, plans are $10,000. They already did it. All we need is another copy from them. Like, if you look at those blueprints, when they were talking about doing that, mm -hmm. um, they planned for a softball field and a softball field, or sorry, softball field and a soccer field. It's already done. Um, and, and the only reason I haven't sent you that stuff was because I can't find it. I have no idea what happened to the file, and I will find it. Um, so, cause I was waiting for Linda Sanderson to get back to me. I actually saw a <coughs> Dan Carey at a softball or uh, yeah, softball, uh, golf tournament last Friday. And he told me he, cause nobody's telling me where we have to put it to bid, how we get the money, all that stuff. And that's what I was waiting back for. And he said, well, Carolyn's done this before, so she should be able to tell you. And I said, okay. She told me I needed studies and I talked to planning and planning said no. So I, I'm really kind of at a loss. Okay. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll keep communicate with Carolyn on it. Um, it seems like I'm getting her what they need, you know? Okay. Perfect. I, I think if, um, if Berkshire can give me what they have, at least the plans and hopefully we can move forward, you know, it shouldn't be $30,000 for them to put together some stuff if they already have those things in place. Yeah, um, they already have it. Would be something like that. So, it should be a we'll file. <laughs> you know, I can understand a couple hundred bucks for copies and whatever, but we shouldn't be paying ten thousand dollars because we're not going to have enough money to do the field after that. Oh no, I know. Yeah, it's with all everything it takes, it's going to be tough. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, guys, that's. Kind of got it, gone, gone through everything we have. Um, 
Is there anything else that, that, that wasn't on the agenda that we need to guys like to cover? No, talk to, is Jennifer back? No, she, I think she was back for a little while the other morning, but I'm not sure what the, what her status is going to be. Okay. Um, we'll see who you have to get us in front of the plan, the select board. Oh, and that was one other thing that I wanted to bring up. The, we were watching the select board meeting last week and we got to get the softball field done because they're exploring new places for a DPW. And that's one of the places. So, I, I mean, maybe I should call Carolyn tomorrow and see, because I'm not going to have the, I mean, I, the state wouldn't allow it to happen if they gave us $100,000 for a softball field and then they turned it into a DPW. Right. But, I mean, I don't want that to turn into a giant fiasco. I'd rather get out in front of it and say, hey, listen, you know, uh, unless they're talking about it behind the fire station, that's fine. But not right where we're building our softball field. Right. That makes sense. So, um, all right. Cool. All right, so let me get my calendar. So um, for the next meeting date, October 20th. Does that work for you guys? It's a Thursday. Can we do a Wednesday? We can. It's up to y'all. To tell you the truth, I'm away the 20th through the 27th, and the 19th would, would work <laughs> once Sorry again. The 19th, the, what seems the Wednesdays do work better. Okay. Just because I have football with Sully on Tuesdays and Thursday nights. I have to double check if I have Mother's Club, but I might be able to, you know, attend both depending on start time because we usually Mother's Club does um, Wednesdays, but I'm not sure I'm going to get to that very fast. Okay, we'll plan on that, and then we can can adjust if we need to. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um. So good. We're good. When you guys want to move to adjourn. I move to adjourn.